And we resume our playthrough with DMC Devil May Cry with Mission 16, The Plan. Um, I've actually been out to the library and picking up some things. I've been running errands here and there. And in my absence, my gaming partner, X-Squad here, has been looking into collecting more white orbs. White lost souls, if you'll call them that. Uh, we, we are refraining from, up, from upgrading to show you that you don't really need to go further. If anything, uh, the powers are still the same. This game lacks the depth of combat from previous titles. We don't need any of these, so we'll move onward now. Start mission with the plan. Hmm. I think we might want to turn it down since we're actually sitting closer to the TV. Just turn it down by two. No, wait. Turn it down like two more. One more. Yeah, I hope there's no echo in the background. We're actually going to try and keep the video shorter from our end. Uh, because YouTube wouldn't let me upload it and filed copyright uh, claims against my videos, or it might have been automated. Is that a t tattoo so on her the hand? Is the main source of Menace's power. It can only be reached from his chamber. No, that is not a he Devil May Cry 4 plot at all. The Hellgate. Mundus is still weak from his last outburst. This is your chance to defeat him. Wait a minute. If we're dealing with a Hellgate, then what the hell? What the fuck is Limbo? We can use that to our advantage. There's a back door. I need to do a reference to Devil May Cry 4 as well. That the Hellgates were actually manifest. Yeah, except there's no need to call it a Hellgate. I thought the demons, don't uh, do dormancy and domain involved Limbo. I mean, that's no. I mean, I'm get what it was supposed to be. Limbo is. Where they th they can only cross into limbo because they can't physically cross into the oh human world. Oh my god, look at this cutscene. Do you see the choppiness? Like, do you see how they're animated? In the background, especially. Yeah, like, look at how they're animated. Because I explained this earlier. It appears that they sacrificed the 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 motion, like the, the chop, I mean, the smoothness for gameplay only. I mean, the cutscenes. I mean, and at the least, gameplay is pretty shallow. At least the CG cutscene looks good, for what it's worth. It's passable, in my opinion. Actually, you know what? We, this is a good time to talk about. Like everything that we're seeing now, it's far different than that that original trailer, when Dante looked like a meth head and he was tortured in a prison for a while. That building is the only thing that retained from it. Okay, I need to just. Jump and double, and double dash. No, it's not true. It's just a double jump and then dash. <laughs> I'm gonna hum Mario Kart double dash while I play this game. <laughs> you died. Too early. Oh, starting all the way back. That's nice. Okay, I'm actually not gonna die from here. Now you didn't die. It's basically the only thing that actually happens is you lose you, health. Yeah. The only way you actually die and you actually didn't die in combat is if you have a quick time minute, you have to keep somebody alive. Yeah. Such as episode 15, where you have to keep Virgil and Cat alive for some reason. Which I also have extremely question. Plot hole. Plot hole there. No. The main question is that Virgil has not used the Yamato at all. He's only held it. Yeah. He hasn't used it in combat. He hasn't used it in its abilities. But you know, if it was, if he actually used it, he could have sliced through all that obstacles. I know, but easily. I think the game is trying to convey a message that Virgil's identity is slowly being learned by Mundus, and that it's just not time for him to strike yet. Although I really can't, I don't think anyone should have to process Virgil driving a car. It's just really stupid. If anything, I'd re Virgil looks more like he'd be better instead of a car, a motorcycle, better than Dante. We gotta admit that's true. I actually, I don't even know what I can consider legit anymore. And right, you have the Aquila equipped, that's why. Like, I was looking to do some shredder in the profit time. Wait. Okay, I can't see though because of the energy barrier. And she's protecting her with the angel barrier. Right, right, that barrier is deflecting. So what I'm gonna do is take her down. There's two of them just, limit, just reminding you. So in case you're thinking... Those right. elite Stragas take some pretty da bad damage. If you actually look, they actually almost take as much damage as the first shield knights that you face. 
Right, right, I can't, like, that's the witch. Okay, then I can just prop and shredder her ass. Archaic. Hmm. I mean, I do like seeing this this Mundus' headquarters explode. And look, he has an armband. Yeah, that, that's what I mentioned earlier. His, the insignia of the Order. I mean, I think it's supposed to be. Right? Did you notice that in the cutscene, Cat had a tattoo on her arm? I know, like, I'm timed. Drag them with me, actually. Uh, no, I can't. It's the left side, left side. No, it's the middle. Ooh, there, I, I made it. Oh, that would have sucked if it had been a game over. The Dream Runner. This so that's what this main boss dude is called. Yeah. Showtime. But he was already introduced when he wore the red mask. Could just be his brother. Just a reminder, this guy can parry you, he can he can evade you. What the he and he, he can, can grab me from midair, that's great. He can turn it he can, I'm not entirely at a disadvantage. Now if this game could Control right with the camera. You know that was that wasn't a matter of control. That was just the camera at a corner. The camera sucks it a lot at this. Coming at you. And he can block even overdrive, which is there he is. That's my weakness. I have to get him to. He's like Virgil almost. Yeah. When you were fighting. Classic, it. classic Virgil. En enough of that though. There we go. But the thing is, Dante auto amps, so the only way for me to get that green orb cocoon is to be by it and use my melee. You gotta throw him off balance, that's the only way you can do it. Or at the end of his attack, that you can really do some damage to him. Looks like you wait too long with any pull or you automatically counters. Maybe I can do something about that. Now. There we go. Oh! Finally! After three times fighting him, you, we finally get to kill him. Yeah, there. He's gone. Yeah. Are there any other green cocoon? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Come to me, Dante. If you can, I'll be waiting for you. Is this right eye glass or what? No, no. You, you, uh, no. You're referring to what's a monocle. Is it? Actually, no. Uh, you might be right. He wasn't having glass. He wasn't having monocle in here. Um. Okay. Do I want to upgrade? Uh. Wow. Double trick across is too expensive. I. I think we'll. If anything, I'd recommend the cross better so you don't have to buy any vitality potions or anything. Uh, the health cross. The thing is, though, I'll need my fair share of double trigger. I want to try and balance and juggle between meter. It's like you only have one more double trigger at all. I, I don't mean. And I don't, seriously doubt you're gonna have. You're gonna get in the last four levels enough to buy it. It looks like I should take this elevator because I didn't read the subtext. But I'm actually gonna go in here and see if there's anything. There's a cocoon there. Knowing. And I think there's a. There's like. They said 10 lost souls in this level. Yeah. You probably go to the start menu and show you how many there actually are. But I don't want to do that, though. I want to rely on... Like, oh, you got a right health there. item right there. Yeah. This is just a room for being a room. It's, it's a nice design where I can just go down here and search for things. It's good. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. We shall be taking the elevator. Upward. This reminds me too much of the level vitality. 
where it turns out all the stuff is just hidden around the level of certain areas that you enter. Like at the beginning or the middle, you're going up and down. It, it ugh. It's just a, a level you have to explore. But really, you don't have enough time for it. Good, brother? Yeah, good. Here you'll split. Dante, make your way to the east wing. Virgil, you'll make your way to the west wing, or you'll find the main server room. Good luck. Me too. Dante, you will have to cross the sky bridge to get into the east wing. You'll find the sky bridge along this path. So, the question is, is Virgil fighting demons? No, he's not, because Dante is in limbo. Oh, he'll clear the way for you. So that means... No, he's fighting, like, in the real world. Alright, I'm taking out the demons here. So that they don't, so they don't, like, interfere with his operations. Virgil's in here. Basically, they're both making their own different ascents to the tower. Yeah. If they don't make, if they make it that Virgil doesn't have a double trigger, even on his downfall, I will be pissed. I'm not getting any green health whatsoever. Is there something here? Nope. Nope. Yeah, the the aiming on Ebony Ivory is pretty terrible. Uh, as if you notice, that's what I was telling you before. No, I, I, I didn't disagree. Yeah. But did you notice the small little white orb? Yeah. That actually helps you. Okay, now where do I go? Looks like somewhere you can go, but you don't. Oh, look. Wait a second. Turn it back. There was actually a red little light when you got next to that trailer. Um, um, that tread thing. Oh, wait, wait. Or maybe I can just take it down by grappling. Okay, so that door really isn't a door. Can't, can't. Try using the angelic weapon. See if there might. No, like there's no. I I don't even need to use a weapon to find out. Oh, there to your left, to your right. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're stealing this straight from Resident Evil. The laser grid. So don't try to cross it just yet. So what? Do I just stay here and do nothing? Waiting for Virgil. She should at least say how big it will be, like heavy. It's the finance thing. What is this? Those who work here are barely human anymore. They have been corrupted beyond recognition. Are they dying in the real world, like in front of us? And the death is just not. Oh, oh boy. Humanity will be enslaved 